Christy Patey of theinspiredoffice.com coming to you with something that is shocking for a lot of people to hear and that is the fact that I do not carry a purse. I never have carried a purse, not as a little girl just playing around, not as a teenager. I'm in my 30s and I thought by now I would be a purse person, but I'm still not. So I of course carry a wallet that holds the, the bare essentials, but when I'm working with clients, I carry this vintage bag that I bought on eBay about eight years ago. It is not to be confused with the purse because it's not on me throughout the day. It doesn't go into restaurants with me. It only goes between my car and the client site. So by the time this came to me, after my search, I suspect it probably had about 25 years of life in it. I love things with age, with patina, that really show their history, that probably have a story. So when I went looking for the perfect work bag, I, I of course turned to eBay because I had an idea of something I wanted, something that was sort of one of a kind, but I was also very specific about the color and the size, and eBay was really the best place to begin looking for that. So. I searched for vintage coach tote and about a week later this beauty popped up so if you want to search for your own bag please do so you can do that I've given a shortcut below this video to click and bring up the exact same search I used to find this so by now you're probably wondering if she doesn't carry a purse what on earth does she carry with her and it's actually not much I probably only use about a third or maybe even a quarter of this space so it's going to be a short tour. I always have this notebook with me. If it's not in my bag, it is next to my computer at home on the desk. I am never ever without a stainless steel water bottle. This is just such a signature piece of mine. It's sort of like my baby blanket. I can't be without it. You'll always find it in here. A tripod. I do a lot of videos on the fly in clients' offices and this sort of frees me to just do them on the spot. Again, always, always here. And this is one of my favorite pieces. This is a wooden cigarette box that does not carry cigarettes. It carries my business cards. It was $1 at a yard sale and I've had it with me as long as I've had this tote. What's so great about it is it can really take a beating at the bottom of a purse or a bag and it protects what's inside. I always have snacks on me. These are just almonds. So there are two pockets and only two pockets here. Very typical, I of course always have my iPhone on me. Now I've noticed a lot of people in their bags have dozens and dozens of pens and pencils and markers. I always have a pencil, a pen, and at least one or two Sharpies. And recently, I've taken to carrying a pocket knife with me. This has been indispensable. I don't know how I organize so many homes and offices without this. So it's extremely helpful to always have this on my person. You have no idea how many times this, this really saves me throughout the week. And then, the big pocket here is almost empty. I've got ibuprofen. I've got a little pouch where I carry my tea bags. Always have a measuring tape, at least one on me, and especially in the winter, I always have hand cream. So that is it. This bag I expect to be with me as long as I'm around. It's been to the cobbler a number of times. Uh, a few times I thought it was on its last leg, but I was able to sort of mend it and save it. So it's just become such a part of me. Um, people always ask where it's from, and again, you'll have to dig a little bit, but hopefully you'll be able to find yours. Again, just, just turn to eBay and click the link below. Good luck with your search. If that was helpful, please leave a comment. If you learned something about bags and purses or lack thereof, please share with me in the comments. And of course, leave a thumbs up. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is Casey Patey of theinspiredoffice.com.